Hello. Today we will learn about Talent LMS. In this tutorial, we will see how we can use it and how they work. Basically, your learners will be able to access courses whenever and wherever they want. Thanks to Talent LMS, full mobile responsiveness. You can effectively create and deliver a variety of training programmers with the aid of this LMS. It seems perfect for sales training, blended learning, and mobile learning, in my opinion. With more than 10,000 clients and 20 million students worldwide, Talent LMS is still regarded as a top learning management system by both users and industry professionals. So let's start. Just open the Google Chrome and type Talent LMS and enter it. Click the first website and the home screen will be open in front of us. On the top of the screen, there will be many options included platform, pricing, solution, course, resources, company. There will be option of login as well. Now click on get started button. Now the page will open with many questions. Just enter the domain name with approximately four word. Below, enter the email, enter the name, username and password and check the term condition and create account simply. It takes some time to create an account. After that, welcome screen open where you select up your goal with Talent LMS. There will be many options for selection. Just select and proceed to next step. Now select the people. How many people do you want to train and jump to next page where you can select your industry? What does your company do? And also select your department. Click on enter talent LMS option. Now the page will open where you have to see how would you like to start. There will be many options like create course, sample course, customize account, or dashboard open option etc. Just choose one and proceed next. Now the screen will be shown in front of us where you can set your course name. Below this in add option, just drop down and there will be content, web content, video, audio, presentation, SCORM, iframe, etc. Future there will be edit course option, view as learner, message user add event, make course public, log course content, and mobile app on the top there will be instructor message and help option as well now click on edit course option let's enter the course name below this set category let's add the description of your course it must be clear and interesting of your learner there will be many more options below this Let's open the first one, which is course code. Enter the price. We can also set video capacity and set time options as well. In time option, you can set start date and expiration date and set time limit as well. You can also add certification duration and set level in this course. On the top right, we can also upload the image. After that, we can apply them. Now update the course after entering all the entities. Now we can also edit the name of course. On the right side, there will be many options. Click on file option. Now the upload file option will be appearing. Here you can choose a file, drag and drop here. Here we can select any document from our computer or any source and upload there. After some time, it can be done and shown below the box with different options. They include share, type, size upload and other options as well. Now same select another file and drag here. 
below the name option will be listed with file name. Now select the rule and path option where we have many show units. Now select the sequential order option below the select course duration when it completed. Then choose score, then learning, path and save it. Let's open report option where we have assigned learner, complete learner, learning in pro progress, learning in progress, instructor and training time. We can also export in Excel. Below we have progress review circle. Left side their overall option like today, yesterday, week, month, etc. Below course completion and course assignment will be shown. On top in message option there will be inbox and send message as well. The help option is too much interesting where we can get many more help from different resources. Further search bar can also available. On next of overview option, there will be user option with different specification. Next click on timeline where we have different events like update, add, create, etc. So in this platform, we can do more things. We can easily create any course, set various things, and edit them on this platform. Course specifications, timelines, reports, usage, and many other items can also easily be added as files. An LMS primary goal is to oversee the learning process. It functions automatically and according to predetermined rules, making it a system. The system can save businesses time and money while also enhancing conventional techniques so there are a lot of options to view and use on this platform. I hope this video is simple enough for you to understand and learn from. This is a very helpful tool for creating any course you want. I hope that's enough to satisfy you. If you have any query about this lecture, then drop your problem in comment box and also subscribe to the channel. Stay safe.